Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial that I promised you all on how to do that end zone sort of rocket catch sort of automatic touchdown play. Um, it's not automatic. I do want to say that right off the bat. Uh, don't come into this expecting that it's going to work for you every single time, uh, but it does work rather effectively against opponents that really aren't expecting you to just throw it right at their players. Um, but it is in the New Orleans Saints playbook. It is in shotgun. Uh, shotgun, uh, I think it's called Y ISO. Trips Y ISO. It is a number six play in the gun formation in the New Orleans Saints playbook, and it is called Smash Y Fade. It's the top play. The player you're going to be throwing it to is the right receiver on the far left side, which is number 13, Mike Evans. I definitely recommend using a really tall receiver. It has to be at least six foot three to six foot five. And of course, we're going to go ahead and try this in the red zone at the 10 yard line. So this is one of the most effective places to run the play. As you guys see, he goes right into the end zone right as he makes that cut. And I did random play. I know a lot of people are going to be using cover three, but I just showed random play just to show you that it works against almost anything they put out there. Uh, what you want to do here is as you're seeing me throw the ball, he's just going right up and grabbing it at its highest point. And, you know, not too many, even the most amazing users cannot usually get to that if the right animation is initiated as you guys seen right there that animation would have been a touchdown but this is the reason i chose the seahawks the seahawks are as close to an ultimate team as you can get in madden and the regular rosters and against cam chancellor he was able to stop that play but like i said your receivers are going to be just as amazing and they're going to be able to catch that almost i want to say 85 percent of the time it will be a touchdown um, there's the animation again this time Chancellor was not able to stop it we'll go ahead and rewind that and you see there's the initiated animation and he gets a big hit but Mike Evans does keep the handle of the ball and he scores the touchdown so essentially what I'm doing to make this pass work is I'm using pass lead up which is up on your left stick and I'm also throwing a bullet pass I throw it right as he makes the cut sometimes I wait a bit longer depending on where the safety is at or where the linebacker is at um, sometimes it even works more effectively if you wait until he gets into the middle of the end zone But more often than not I just throw it right as he makes the cut and you know most of the time a guy like Mike Evans or Calvin Johnson Will make an insane catch and get some crazy animation. That's pretty much undefendable So the next play I'm just gonna throw in here as a bonus is that uh, halfback run that I do all the time It is strong close halfback off tackle and it's just the most simple run All it is is your outside receiver your tight end and your fullback making some nice blocks downfield. As long as you follow them correctly, you'll bust off a lot of big runs, just like Pierre Thomas does. That's why he's so effective. I just follow my blockers, and I just do very simple run plays. Sometimes I'll mix in a couple pistol runs because, you know, that's what Madden 15 basically is. If you're not running pistol runs, then you're not going to win games. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I do want to give a very big shout-out to iJosh, um, fellow YouTuber, fellow Mutt YouTuber, B-Y-I-Joshify on YouTube if you want to go ahead and subscribe to him. It's there in his... Uh, well, I'll have, I'll have like a screenshot of his channel in his videos and stuff like that. But he's actually the person that came up with the uh, end zone shotgun play, Why I So Fade. Uh, definitely want to give a very big shout out to him. I'm sure he won't mind uh, me sharing it at the end of the year because, you know, next Madden there's going to be a bunch of different stuff. And I'm sure that play uh, will no longer be as effective depending on how they make the passing in the game. Um, I could still see it being effective, maybe. But, you know, they always seem to change a bunch of random things that messes up the game or makes it even more broken. So, um, yeah, but the reason I haven't had a pack and play in, like, I think it's been, like, two or three days. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to wonder, like, Ryan, why aren't you uploading pack and play? Come on, man. I've been actually playing pack and play all season long so far with a broken controller. And I'm not just talking about, like, a little minor break or a button not working. I mean, I have to... I have to actually wrap duct tape around the paddle of my controller to put it back together. So uh, I actually went out and bought a new controller. I actually do have one now, and I'm going to be back to playing pack and play. Um, I'm starting to get worried, though. I did try to pull a couple packs for Deacon Jones. As you guys know, Deacon motherfucking Jones. And I kind of went overboard, and I'm going to have to do a lot of selling of random golds and, you know, base elites and stuff just to make sure I have enough coins for the rest of the year on pack and play hopefully i can get lucky with something uh because as of right now there's gonna be a lot of grinding to ensure enough coins for pack and play uh but i have been you know doing a bunch of other things like watching the draft and you know this is kind of turning into almost like a vlog 
I mean, no, it's not like a video log, just like a audio log, I guess. Uh, but I was watching the draft, and I know a lot of people are going to wonder, how are you feeling about Marcus Mariota to the Titans? How are you feeling about Doriel Green Beckham to the Titans? All I want to say about everything that's happened is, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to get out of the garbage can. The Tennessee Titans have been a cellar dweller team now for, I think, like seven to eight straight years. I'm sick of it. I need, I don't need to have them be better, but for my sake of my health and not screaming every single season, I'm not asking to be a Super Bowl contender. I'm not asking, you know, to even be a good team. Just be good enough to not have everyone sit there and say, oh, we're playing the Titans today automatic win i don't want it like i miss the old days where our defense would actually you know strike fear into people like oh we got to go up against keith bullock we got to go up against albert haynes or javon curse you know i miss those days and you know it all starts with a quarterback it all starts with a quarterback and you know we had vince young we tried vince young out that didn't pan out we tried jake locker obviously jake locker didn't pan out if marcus mariota does pan out and he plays well his rookie year into the next year then a lot more people are going to want to come to the Tennessee Titans, and I think everything will vastly improve. With better quarterback play comes better overall team play. So uh, team play. Now I have team play on my mind, Madden team play. I really wish they'd bring back <laughs> bring that back for Madden 16, but I've been rambling on a little bit too much. Just giving you guys a little bit of an update of what I've been doing and what I will be doing here in the future. So I will have a pack-and-play gameplay either later after this video or tomorrow depends because I actually have to play the next game. Uh, we are entering the playoffs, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that new Lions jersey that I said I was going to get. Throwback, I think, 57 jersey, I think it is. I'm not exactly sure. I have to go back and look. But go ahead and give the video a like. If you are new, subscribe. Go subscribe to BYIJoshify, my boy iJosh, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.